man, I could have never done that in the F-16. I had deployed to Iraq in the F-16 and then dropped a couple bombs, you know, in hate there, but I didn't have the loiter capability. I didn't have the, the communication capability. I didn't have the precision of the weapons, you know, that I did in the MQ-9. I wasn't able to have that battle space awareness there. So the F-16 does a lot of incredible things, but for that mission that night, I don't think that team would have come home had I been flying overhead with an F-16. It required an MQ-9. So I was, I had a lot of pondering to do, but I was immediately sold on, this is it, this is the future. I believe this is this is where I belong. And so two years later, when the, F, the Air Force said, hey, Phantom, the F-16 community is now undermanned. We need you guys to come back to the F-16 when originally they had told us, hey, it was a one-way door. Most of us, I would say probably about half of us said, nope, this is where we, this is the future right here. We want to stay with the MQ-9. 